Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to kind of wrap things up and share with you how to finish your report, save it as a PDF so that you can send it, email it to your colleague, to your coworker, whoever you need to. One thing uh, about power, building PowerPoints, uh, building reports in PowerPoint is that you never actually want to send the direct PowerPoint file to someone over email unless of course they need to do some collaborative editing or design work or things like that. Um, it could be the file size could be way too big and of course you don't want people messing around with all of your graphic elements and things like that. So just like a Word document, I want you to save your report as a PDF before you email it out. And I found it really surprising that people don't actually know that you can save PowerPoint files, whether they are in report format or in slideshow format, um, as PDF documents. So I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really easy, super quick, uh, and uh, here we go. So go up to the Home tab here, and then actually you want to go to the File tab. And you're just going to click on Save As. And I'm going to click on Browse because it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I will just save it to my desktop and it's going to be, you're going to enter the title of your report, but then you're going to have to select this file type, save as type drop down menu. And these are all the different file types you can save your PowerPoint uh, presentation as or your report. And I'm just going to go down here to PDF. Where is PDF? There it is right here. PDF. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that. And then you can actually minimize the size, standard publishing size. I usually do that. It's probably best uh, for, the, for the file type. And then you're just going to click on Save. And if you have whatever your default sort of PDF viewer is going to pop up, and you can see now that your report is a nice, clean PDF, you can go ahead and click through, click through the pages as you normally would or scroll through. And this is going to be really clean, really easy for you to email to a coworker um, or email to whoever your reader uh, will be. So make sure if you learn nothing else from this series that when you send your PowerPoint file to someone or to your reader, make sure to save it first as a PDF and that will make everyone's life a lot easier.